Good morning, folks. Today we've got updates on the sun, earthquakes, weather, space, some extra goodies at the end as well, and we are starting at our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on the sun was slowly ramping up filament activity. The solar flares are still small. The southern coronal hole is turning towards the far side, and its solar wind is only about a day or two away. The filaments, as I mentioned, is where the activity is found. They are ripping away from the corona, including an extra small one that came out towards the Earth. But it will pale in comparison to the coronal hole stream coming. We are taking a small one now from the lesser openings out ahead of it. Minor geomagnetic unrest only so far from this one. The next one should bring a geomagnetic storm. Quick look at the sunspot shows their development the last two days. They are still a bit shy of developing flare-making complexity. And that's what we're watching for today. Three noteworthy quakes to report. The first is the largest earthquake in this area in decades. Considerable damage to buildings here and hopefully there aren't any bigger ones coming. The other two notable quakes were in the eastern Pacific on the west coast of the Americas. Chile and Nicaragua rumbling just offshore with minimal damage. By the way, back to Australia for a moment as their spring snow is only slightly less weird than the snow that ended the summer in the north. That's Yellowstone there. Roman up next, and at the article link, you can find out about how its spectrum of view over a wider area than Hubble should allow for regular discoveries that Hubble just could never pull off. In combination with the LSST and James Webb, the heavens shouldn't be able to hide much longer. Fun wordplay there foreshadows the final story, but we are off to Apple TV's trailer for Finch. I don't plan to see this because Hollywood is terrible at disaster stuff, especially from the sun. But this exists, and yes, we heard about it. Solar flare takes out the world. Benefit of this next paper is the visualizations and the 3D interactive site they've set up so we can pick random nearby clouds and play around with their viewing. Now last but not least, while we wait for the heavens to be revealed with better technology, it turns out you can glean a good bit from common sense, interdisciplinary combinations of information, logic, and math. Short version of the story here is that our universe carries the signature of intelligent design, not randomness. I don't mind one bit telling you that I was agnostic moving towards atheist at 20 years old. Then, I began studying the cosmos and it became clear that this is not random. This was set up with rules and patterns and obscurity in just the right places. And now I know better. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org your latest Deeper Look episode is fantastic. It's another of the double article videos. It's got three main points we re-summarize at the end, and I am betting you have something between shock and awe at the first revelation. Go see if I'm right. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.